So I've been talking about the Plattborn up until now, but let me explain to you exactly what it is. It's the Professional Linguistic and Assessments Board in the United Kingdom. Essentially, it's a licensing exam. It just gives you eligibility to apply for GMC registration. It is not a degree, it is not a diploma, it's not any sort of certification. Um, sometimes I have people asking me, well, if I take the plaid, will it look good on my CV? It, it means nothing on your CV because UK doctors don't have to take it so long as they graduate from the United Kingdom. It's just to allow you to get GMC registration. So um, when can you take it? It's, you have to at least got, have gotten your primary medical qualification before you can sit. And what I mean by that is your medical degree. As soon as you have your medical degree in hand, you can go ahead and apply. And if you, of course, you have the finances and the situation that is uh, opportune for it. So let's talk about the exam structure. It has two parts. It has a written part and another part, which is kind of like an OSCE system. So uh, the first part is a three-hour paper. There are 200 questions. Again, you can take it right as soon as you get your medical degree. It's available in March and November overseas. And in the UK, it's available March, June, September, and November. So you can take it where, whenever and as, I mean, like you can take it in the UK if you want. You don't have to take it in India. Or you can even take it, I mean, in any neighboring country. You do not have to take it in a country that you hold a passport to. Uh, FLAB 2, on the other hand, is only available in Manchester in the United Kingdom. It's a practical assessment. Like I said, it's an OSCE setup, so it's an objective st uh, structured clinical examination. There are about 18 stations usually that last eight minutes long each, and there are about two rest stations. Um, it happens throughout the year, except for usually around like Christmas and New Year's, and it only takes place in the UK, so you will have to travel to the UK to take this exam. The only requirements for PLAB 2 is that you pass PLAB 1, and you have to take your PLAB 2 within, passing, within two years of passing your PLAB 1. Both of those examinations also have a two-year validity, which is why it's important when you plan your IELTS and your OET that you stick everything within those two years, which you can comfortably do if you plan well. Okay, so uh, now in regards to exam fees and any other associated costs, uh, the IELTS itself costs 160 pounds, but the IELTS for UKVI will cost you 200, or if you take the OET, it'll cost you 332 pounds. Lab one costs you 230 pounds, and PLAB 2 will cost you 840 pounds. So after you clear your PLABs, after you clear and you do your GMC registration, you're basically at the bottom of the totem pole. You are a junior doctor in their system, and you will have to take further specialized, sorry, specialty exams to make yourself get further in the career if you want to specialize in something or become a consultant or become a GP. 